Hey guys, Matt here from Seeds of Awareness. Welcome to the Awakening series. This is episode nine, and in this episode, I'm gonna be discussing confronting death. So obviously the topic of death is not something people generally wanna talk about and confront because it can bring up a lot of feelings of sadness and grief and just feelings we kind of want to ignore and just get along with get on with our everyday life and that's actually exactly the problem see in our modern societies and especially our western societies we basically ignore the topic of death no one really wants to talk about it not properly anyway if we do talk about it it's kind of just we try to you know sugarcoat it with some humor and we sort of this talk about it like it's not really a thing of yeah one day when I'm dead it's like we're not really connected with it and you might be thinking well I don't really want to connect with death because it's not something that makes me feel very good and that's understandable but that actually causes a lot of problems you see when we don't actually confront death and when we don't actually allow ourselves to feel the feelings that the reality of death brings up in us especially feelings of sadness and grief they're, they're, they tend to be things that i feel especially when I'm, I'm contemplating the reality that everyone i love around me my wife my one-year-old son my dog my mum, my dad my family my myself my body my friends all of this is going to be gone one day. It's literally going to be gone. And that, you know, it's like, whoa, that's just crazy to think about. Like, I can't believe this is all going to be gone. What's the, you know, it can just kind of make you feel an existential crisis. But when you allow yourself to feel the feelings that come up when you do actually properly contemplate death and confront it, a magical thing happens because once these feelings have sort of stirred up in you and swirled around and then cleared out of you and maybe they maybe they purge out of you in the in the need of uh, in the sort of process of a cry a much needed cry or just any other sort of physical kind of action once that's happened you'll find that you have uh, a gold nugget in your possession and that gold nugget is this incredible appreciation for life you you realize that this life you have is so fragile is so fleeting can be taken away at any moment and once you accept that as a reality you desperately want to make the most of every moment you can and you want to cherish it you want to um, not take anything for granted you want to be present all the time you want to be present with your family you want to be present with your loved ones because you realize that one of the worst things that could happen is that you deny the reality of death you push it into the back burner of your consciousness and so you go on everyday life you go on through your everyday life just pretending it doesn't exist and going through the motions living up in the head never present with anything around you and then all of a sudden one day you're old and you look back and you go God damn, I was, I just basically daydreamed my way through my life. I was never present. I never appreciated what I had. And now it's all gone and there's nothing I can do because the reality is we only get one chance. And I know you know that. We all know that. But the thing is, there's a difference between knowing something and understanding. See, so knowing something is just like, oh yeah, it's, I can see that's a reality. Yeah, we're gonna die. I see people die around me. I can't can't avoid it. But when you're not connect with, connected with it, when you're not feeling it, when you're numbing yourself to that reality, you're not actually understanding it because the proof that you're understanding something is when you're living the lesson that's in that thing. So to, to know that you're truly understanding the reality of death, is when you're living it day by day, when you're living every day as if it could be your last. And you know that if you if you were told you had one day left, I can guarantee you would not spend it living up in your head, worrying about this and worrying about that and you know, kind of like not being present with the people around you and not appreciating the sights and the smells and the sunshine and the clouds and your friends and the things going on around you. You just kind of like desensitized to it all. But when you're, if it was your, if it was your last day on earth, you would be paying attention to everything. Cause you'd be like, this is the last time I'm going to see colors. This is the last time I'm going to smell these smells. This is the last time I'm going to hug that person. This is the last time I'm going to play with my son. And you're probably thinking right now, that's horrible. It makes me want to cry, but that's what, that's what we have to feel. That's what we have to confront because it will 
make you, it will give you that gold nugget. It will make you cherish life more. It will make you more present. It will make you want to take more chances. It helps you overcome fear because all the things you kind of put on the back burner because you're afraid in your life and the chances you don't take and the things you procrastinate on, so much of it is driven by this unconscious fear of death that you're not confronting. We're so afraid of it. It's so kind of like horrifying the reality that we're mortal and we're going to be gone one day that we just sweep it under the rug, that we put it in the back burner of our consciousness and we don't confront it, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's still there hidden in your shadow. And from there, it controls you even more because as I said, when you're not confronting it, you're just you're controlled by your fears. If you're not confronting and controlling your fears, they're going to control you. And the number one fear I think that controls so many people is this unconscious fear of death. And so I'm not saying that you need to think about death 24 seven. You need to talk to people about death all the time. I'm just saying that you need to allow it to when it comes up and it will come up, it will come up in your life moment to moment, maybe for some more regularly than others. For me, I, I, I'll be honest, I think about it nearly every day. Um, and not, you know, I might just think about it for five minutes and just sit with it and be like, okay, that's another reminder of why I need to make the most out of today. But for you, it might be once a week, once a month, whatever. But when it does come up, um, don't, don't fall back into old kind of uh, patterns of suppressing it, of going, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to touch that. That doesn't make me feel good. No, no. Allow it to come up, allow yourself to feel it. And if it makes you want to cry, if it makes you want to scream, if it makes you want to just like break down, allow that to happen though. These are the things that we need to not run from, because as I said, on the other side of it, when that's cleared within you, when, when you've allowed that uh, feeling to integrate in your body and, and move through you and clear, it stirs up powers and energies in you that are really, really powerful that energize you and fulfill you with, fill you with life force and make you want to just go make the most out of life. But when we're numbing ourselves to our fears and we're not confronting them, those powerful energies just kind of stay hidden and suppressed down in the shadow. So for me, I like to if I like to go meditate, if, if death starts coming up into my awareness, I like to, because it's hard to feel things when we've got so many distractions around us, just go somewhere quiet for five, 10 minutes and just, um, just feel it. Just, just tune into your body and just feel where it's coming and don't judge it. Don't resist it. Just feel it and allow it to work through you. And the symptom afterwards is you might just really want to go give someone a hug. <laughs> you might want to go give your wife a hug, your husband a hug, your dog a hug, your kid a hug. You might want to call someone, your friend or family, because you feel like, holy shit, like I, I can see where I'm taking things for granted. I can see that if that was taken away from me today, I would have a lot of regrets. I did not show that person, that thing in my life enough appreciation because I just seem to think it's always going to be there. Um, but it's not. So as I said, there's a difference between knowing what I'm saying here and actually understanding what I'm saying. And the difference for me is feeling it. The difference between knowing and understanding is have you felt it? It's not just some mental idea. Yeah, yeah, death's real. No, it's have you felt it? There's a huge difference. And that goes for anything in life. This is just one example. The blueprint for how I approach the topic of death is how I approach anything in life. I don't, I know that I don't, understand it until I've felt it. So if there's any questions about this, let me know your thoughts and I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you confront death enough in your life? Have you accepted the reality and felt it? Or is it something you need to work on? Um, so yeah, I'd love to know your feedback and your questions. And also uh, just to let you know, I've, I'm very excited because I've recently just launched my health coaching service. It's something that I did a few years ago, had a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients and also ran retreats in Bali and in Melbourne, Australia. And I took about a four or five year break just to work on some personal things. 
um, and I learned a lot of amazing modalities throughout the last four or five years, which I want to add into my holistic health coaching now. So not just about health and nutrition, but more about embodiment, more about helping people overcome addictions and traumas and things like that. So if you do feel like you need some mentoring in those areas, please um, feel free to send me a message and we can uh, tee something up. And if you want more information about it, I'll put the link in the information section below. Um, and yeah, shoot me a message if there's any further questions and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.